Hi, I have a special announcement to make, and I want to make this special announcement before I begin week two training. If you are registered in the Family Run program, and when I say you, I mean anyone who is registered within your family for the Family Run program, you have an opportunity to participate in the Sentara Sleigh Bell 5K, which takes place Saturday, December 11th at Sentara Hospital. You have an opportunity to register for this event at no cost. But what that means is if you decide to register for this event, that means you need to show up that morning, you need to be at the starting line, and you need to run or run walk however you want to finish it, but you need to participate and cross that finish line. That's what that means. So if you register, that means you've made the commitment to be there. And also, if you register, it means you're going to get a really cool t-shirt and you're going to get that awesome medal when you cross the finish line. So what I'm trying to say is if you register, we really want to see you there. So I'm just so excited to make this announcement today. And I'm really hoping now we have this goal. It's an eight-week training program. We've gotten through week one. We're starting week two that this goal of completing the Sentara Sleigh Bell 5K is what's going to get us to the very end of this training program. So I'm so excited to share this with you today. I will be sharing more details about how to register, but for now, let's be excited. We have this opportunity to run in that 5K at no cost. So get ready for weeks two training. It's right around the corner. I'll see you soon. Bye. Welcome to week two of the Family Run program. First, I'd like to let those of you know that have sent me positive emails, thank you. It just makes my heart so happy to know that you're enjoying this training program. And pictures. Some of you have sent me some pictures and I love the pictures, they just make me so happy. But if you do send me pictures, please let me know whether or not they can be shared on our social media pages. Both SHIP and WJCC schools have social media pages. We have Instagram, we have Facebook, and we have Twitter. If you don't mind those pictures being shared on our social media pages, that is fantastic. I don't share names and I don't share locations, I just share the pictures. But if you don't want them shared on any social media pages, please make that very clear in the email to me. But I do love seeing the pictures either way. And finally, I do hope everyone has enjoyed this first week of training. I hope it's gone well for everyone. So with that being said, we're gonna move into week two. And the first running tip for week two is all about making time. It's a simple statement, but it's a difficult one because we're all very busy. We have so many things to do during the day, but it's so important to make this training time a priority. It's important that you carve out that amount of time that you need to get it done. Now, I personally like to do mine first thing in the morning and get it over with, but there are plenty of people out there that like to do it in the late afternoon or evening as well. So whatever time of day you choose is up to you, but it's just important that you make that time. Write it on the calendar if you have to. The other thing, the days are getting shorter. So, you know, it's darker in the morning, it's actually darker in the evening. With the days being shorter, if you are out during that dusk time or, you know, darkness in the morning, make sure that you stay lit. Make sure that you have either a flashlight, they sell headlamps, they also sell these really cool uh, light up vests. So make sure if you're running during some time when it's not bright outside that you are illuminated because you want to be able to be seen. So today's running tip is all about making time and being safe during that time. So with that being said, we're gonna to go to our healthy eating tip. And last week I talked about whole foods and how important it is to nourish our bodies with whole foods. Whole foods that come from the ground, think fresh fruits and vegetables, foods that have not been altered from their original state, which brings me to processed foods. I said I would talk about that this week. And my healthy tip today is to avoid eating a lot of processed foods. 
When you think of processed foods, those are foods that are altered from that original state of being a whole food. They've been through some sort of a machinery. They've been through some sort of a process. They've had things added to them like um, sodium, sweeteners, fats, hydrogenated oils, uh, artificial sweeteners. Things have been added to them that make them unhealthy. And the, nutri the nutrients, the nutritious part of the foods have been taken away, which really is um, just sad. When you think of those foods, those foods are like crackers, cookies, packaged foods, chips, microwavable meals, like microwavable prepared meals. They're very high in sodium. Um, those are sodas, cereals. I mean, I could go on and on. You just, those are the aisles in the grocery store that are usually in the center of the grocery store. All of those things that come in boxes and packages and things like that, they have been altered from their original state. They have little nutritional value and they're just not that good for our bodies. So when you think of nutrition, think of eating whole, fresh foods. So now we've gone over our running tip our healthy eating tip, and I'd like to share the community run location. This week's community run location is on Tuesdays. Last week was Monday, Duke of Gloucester Street in front of the cheese shop. This week, it's on Tuesdays at the Jamestown Marina. It's at 6 p.m., and they usually start at the very beginning of the Capitol Trail. And the Capitol Trail is a beautiful trail, um, but that's at the Jamestown Marina, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. It's a group of people that get out and move. You, they usually do a 5K. You can walk it. You can run it. You can do a little bit of both. You can walk the whole thing if you want to. But um, Tuesday night at Jamestown Marina, it's another great local community run location. So I hope, to, I hope that you get out there and try to give that a shot. Now, that brings me to our warm-up today. Now, for me to do the warm-up today, I'm going to have to move things around a little bit. I'm going to move my stool that I'm sitting on. I'm going to tilt my, uh, my uh, camera down just a little bit because I want you to see me on the floor. I'm going to get back on the floor and show you some stretches that I do every morning before I go running. So give me a second. So I'm gonna get down here on the floor and the first stretch that I'm gonna show you is called the clamshell. I do this every morning. I think it's great for your hips. It gets them moving and this is again, this is a dynamic stretch so I will be moving. It's not a static stretch. So I'm gonna get down on the floor and show you how this works. You're gonna get down on, your, on the floor and you're gonna be on your side and your knees are gonna be in front of you. And I'm gonna lay down and I hope you can see me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my knee off of my other knee, but I want to keep my hips moving forward. I think I need to move back just a little bit. My knees are in front of me, and I want to raise my knee up and down, but I want to keep my hips facing forward. So I'm just raising my knee until it's comfortable. You don't want to overextend it. And these are called clamshells. And you do those on both sides. I'm not going to do that now, but you just flip over and do it on the other side. The next stretch I'm going to show you is I just do leg raises from the floor. You keep your foot facing forward and just raise your leg up and down. Now from there, I'm going to move on to my back. I'm going to lay on my back. I'm going to put my knees up and I'm going to raise my buttocks off the floor. I'm raising my hips. So my pelvis up towards the ceiling. And I just want to get those hips opened up and stretch the backs of my legs here. And that's another great dynamic stretch to do before you get started in the morning. I'm going to come back and push this camera back up. So today for week two, I've gone over our running tip, which is make time and be safe. Our healthy eating tip, avoid processed foods. Our run community location is the Jamestown Marina. We just went through our warm up. I suggest too, when you go outside, that maybe you walk a little 
walk or just jog, a little slow jog for your warm up some more. And then guess what? It's time to let go run. So check out week two training and let's go run. And I'll see you back here for the cool down and our running resolutions. See you soon. Bye. Whew. I hope your training run went well and I hope you walked it out because that's part of the cool down is when you're finished with your jogging and your walking and your jogging, make those last few minutes just a, a nice walk just to cool it down. And after you've done walking it out, I'm just gonna show you a couple of stretches. I believe we did these last week, but I'm just gonna show you again. And the first one is, it's one of my favorites. It really helps um, bring those hips and stretch them back out after they've been in that jogging mode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step back you just wanna raise your leg up. You wanna rest your heel on your thigh. You can hold on to something if you need to. And you're just going to let your knee drop and really feel that stretch back here in your hips. I'm gonna switch sides. Just let your knee drop. You're feeling that stretch back here in your hips. It really opens your hips back up. I also showed you this last week. It's the quad stretch. You're going to be stretching this front part of your leg. You wanna bring your foot up to your buttocks. Stretch those quads out. Again, you wanna do that on both sides. The last thing I'm gonna show you, you wanna stretch these hamstrings out. You wanna just lean forward, just let your hands fall like you're trying to touch your toes. If you can touch your toes, great, don't force yourself to, but you wanna feel the stretch back in these hamstrings. You wanna get them stretched back out. So those are just some quick, simple, little cool down stretches to do. And with after our cool down, I wanna share our running resolution for the week. Now our running resolution for the week is, there's gonna be good days, there's gonna be bad days, but you have to remember that goal of what you're trying to reach. You want to finish that 5K. So what my tip is this week is the five minute rule. There's going to be some days when you just don't feel like getting out there and trying to do this. But it's really important for you to persevere, put those clothes on, and get out there and give it a try. If after five minutes, you're not feeling it, it's just not happening, call it quits. There's no reason to force it. If after five minutes, you're just not feeling it, just end it. But nine times out of 10, after those first five minutes and you've been moving, you're gonna feel like you're gonna wanna keep going. So that's my tip today is the five minute rule. Give it five minutes. If it's not working, end it. But nine times out of 10, it's gonna feel great and you're gonna keep moving. And that's my tip for today for running resolutions. So, I hope you've enjoyed the second week of training and I look forward to seeing you next week for the third week. So happy running everyone. Bye.